do better than that. sure if you look again, madam, you'll see you've made a mistake. Look, I certainly made no mistake. There's a small, furry hamster drinking my soup. <laughs> now please, please, will you bring me a new bowl of soup? Ooh, I know what's happened. That's not a hamster. It's a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> the chef must have forgotten to take it out of the soup before I brought it to your table. What? Uh, yes. We serve guinea pigs in all the soup. If the guinea pig lives, we know the soup is fine. <laughs> if the guinea pig dies, then we know it's been poisoned. Well, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. This creature is beating me to my soup. He's almost finished all of it. I certainly don't care to be sharing my soup with some guinea pig. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't poisoned. <laughs> and is poisonous soup a common occurrence at this restaurant? Well, that depends on what you mean by common. <laughs> well, has anyone been poisoned at this restaurant? Not since we've been serving guinea pigs in the soup. <laughs> pigs have been poisoned? Well, it's hard to tell. <laughs> As you know, guinea pigs don't swim very well. <laughs> some of them may have drowned, some of them may have just died of natural causes. <laughs> well, how many have died in general? <laughs> Depends what you mean by general. Well, in general. In the past two months? Since you've been using them. Well, that was two months ago. What? Fine! Stop stalling! How many guinea pigs have died in this restaurant? Twenty-five. <laughs> and is poison soup a common occurrence at this restaurant? Is it common? Is it happening all the time? It doesn't happen all the time, madam. Oh, do you get many customers? <laughs> do you get many customers coming back to this restaurant? As you know, we're on a major highway. We have a constant flow of new patients. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't really bother you that you'll never see any repeat business from any sane human being? That's the way it goes. Some people just don't care. If you want to go to another restaurant, by all means, go to another restaurant. See if I care. Go to another restaurant where they don't taste test the food with laboratory sterilized animals. <laughs> Do you have any idea how many people have died of food poisoning in restaurants in the past year? <laughs> Thousands! But not one has died in our restaurant of food poisoning. Not one. <laughs> well, I can believe that. It's probably because nobody eats anything here. <laughs> Who in their right mind is going to eat a bowl of soup that they've just picked a hamster out of? Sterilized or not? It's a guinea pig. <laughs> I don't care if it's a muskrat. I can't believe anyone would share their soup with one. For one thing, they'd have to be quick. This little guy's finished mine. <laughs> well, it obviously wasn't poison. You could have eaten it. 
I had no concern for your safety. Well, a lot of good that does me now. You could lick the guinea pig. Oh! <laughs> Don't be disgusting! Fine, I'll bring you another bowl of soup. And we'll skip the guinea pig. Or we could dip him in just a little for a little sip. Oh, no, certainly not. Just a sip? No! Bring me a new bowl of soup and don't let any furry creatures within a foot of it, understand? Madam, it's your life. <laughs> poor little puppy, poor little Oh! Waiter! Yes, madam? My giddy pig has just died. <laughs> Ooh, maybe he died of heart failure. No, someone is trying to poison me. No, no. I'm sure your guinea pig's untimely death had nothing to do with the soup. If surely if it was poisoned, he would have kicked it a long time ago. No. You know, there are some slow-reacting poisons here. <laughs> someone is trying to kill me. Bring me a new guinea pig right away. <laughs> As you wish, madam.